special way recognize uh, the Chancellor. Uh, can I call you Professor Simdul Shagaya <laughs> for the purpose of today? <laughs> uh, the members of the BOT, uh, especially uh, my dear sister, Dr. Omo Bola Johnson, uh, our well-respected former Minister of uh, um, Communications. Uh, I note uh, uh, Mr. Abubakar Suleiman is also here. My brother, Wee Akwata, and my sister, uh, Juliet. Um, I recognize the Vice Chancellor, uh, my brother, Vice Chancellor Professor Tayo, um, the Registrar, another brother, Yohai, um, all the principal officers here present of MIVA, uh, members of Senate, members of staff, uh, proud parents, uh, matriculating students. Uh, Distinguished invited guests, our friends from the media, members of the fourth estate of the year. I bring uh, the warm felicitations of the National Universities Commission. And by extension, those of the 270 universities that make up the university space today. Nigeria has 270 universities from the advent of the University of Ibadan in 1948. We have 61 today, 61 federally public funded universities. We have 63 state owned or regionally funded public universities. And we have 146 universities. On behalf of this very special constituency, I bring my warm felicitations. And I want to also say that I'm very delighted uh, to be part of this history making event which is the first matriculation ceremony of MIVA Open University. I thank the founder and the promoter of MIVA University, uh, Simdul Shagaya, a friend and a brother and now a strategic partner for the honor of this invitation. I accepted this invitation for two reasons. First, it is the first of such ceremony for the four institutions recently granted licenses by the NUC to run private open universities in Nigeria. Hence my determination to be part of this ceremony. I'm glad that MIVA understands the need to sustain the best traditions of the university idea. After all, whether face-to-face -face or open, there's a convergence in the principles and practices that define universities. Students should not pass through universities without the university passing through them. And whereas some individuals may be uh, of the notion that technology erodes the need for human interface in learning, the fact is that technology is only a tool a means and not an end in itself. I'm also here, this is the second reason, for the reason that we need to encourage the new breed of exceptional, and like the former Vice President, uh, Professor Osibanjo called him, serial entrepreneurs, represented by Simdel Shagaya, who are investing in education and in human capital. And I should say here that Simdel you know, occupies the same page of history with the likes of Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, if you know your history very well, was him that was the Secretary of War, the Secretary of Treasury, and in the American parlance, Secretary means minister, like my sister there. He then went on to become the American ambassador to the Republic of France. He was also the American ambassador to the UN. And so even, the, even though the UN is headquartered in Manhattan, the U.S. also deploys an ambassador to the U.N. and then ultimately became the president of the United States of America. But during that intervening period of his life, he was fortunate to found the University of Virginia. So if you go to the Monticelli in Virginia, you will find 
you know, that sprawling campus, that, you know, uh, citadel of learning called the University of Virginia. But in his last days on earth, we will all have our last days on earth, his publicist approached him as to what he would prefer to be engraved on his cenotaph. He didn't want to be remembered for having founded, having been uh, ambassador or the, the president or even the minister of treasury. He just wanted simply to be remembered for having found the, founded the University of Virginia. And that's the same page of history that Simdul Shagaya, you know, shares with Thomas Jefferson. I thought you would give him a round of applause. Although Sim, you call him Sim, I call him Simdul, is relatively young, he has immense experience in e-learning. In fact, much more experience than many who are twice his age. We have been assured, therefore, that this university will easily deliver on its mandate given the experience of its precursor, the U lessons. I didn't, did you speak about the U lesson? Oh, you didn't speak about the U lesson, which is a Nigerian educationally technology company that has had impressive track record in the education sector across Nigeria and the rest of uh, the world. And if all gathered here will recall vividly, it was during the COVID-19 lockdown with its disruptive consequences that you lesson provided the essential intervention required to keep Nigerian children learning. Being a treasury education arm of you lesson at Tech, Meva Open University promises to easily leverage on the expertise, on the experience, on the technology, and the diverse online resources at its disposal to deliver a global standard, open and distance university education to its students in ways that may not be matched by any other open university that is upcoming. It is exciting to note that this university has on offer pristine academic programs that are in high demand globally and which are not readily available in many of the other universities in Nigeria. These include first degree programs in cybersecurity, in data science and software engineering. No wonder the university, according to an online source, is already attracting both students and faculty across the world and from diverse backgrounds. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, investments by private individuals and organizations in the education sector would continue to be encouraged by the National Universities Commission. The world of work is changing rapidly and becoming more complex. One-time learning through formal, cumulative, and linear education is no longer enough. There are new demands in the workplace, greater expectations from employees as more jobs have become very remote. That is, we all need to unlearn and relearn new skills rapidly and under required numbers to respond effectively to new requirements in the workplace. The conventional universities that we have uh, in the majority are undergoing uh, transformation in every, in every respect. From curricular, uh, you know, from curricular to e-learning and management reforms. However, they are not designed to respond nimbly and flexibly to the dynamics of the fourth industrial revolution. The management logic underpinning their operations are still situated in the old logic. The licensing of open private universities is a way of disrupting the status quo by tweaking the architecture of higher education to provide the balance and stability of the known paradigm while moving rapidly in the direction of the new uh, paradigm. About MIVA, what we have so far seen, based on what we have so far seen at MIVA University, the National Universities Commission has reasons to be confident that MIVA Open University will be one of Nigeria's flagship institutions to establish a vibrant system of transnational education and ensure that Nigerian University, the Nigerian University system is sufficiently internationalized and globally competitive. I mean, you know that this is the hallmark of a university. Every university must, out of necessity, demonstrate those attributes that make you a truly international character. I mean, uh, Uyi comes from Benin. I mean, there's no 
reason why University of Benin should be proud if it is just an Edo thing, you know, or Oredo, you know, if it's just localized, or if it is, uh, I think Julian comes from Edo as well, from her name, or if it's just an Uromi thing, you know, your name sounds like you're Ishan, right? Oh, exactly. So if it is just like Ambrose Ali University, just localized, I mean, there is, uh, you, you have no, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, business being a university. You must demonstrate those attributes that make you truly, a truly international character. Consequently, I enjoin you to have all the assurances that the commission will provide every possible support to MUIVA to ensure that this university optimizes its potentials uh, speedily. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the National Universities Commission, I must say hearty con you know, congratulations to the proprietor, to the chancellor, to the members of the board of trustees, the esteemed members of the board of trustees, the council, the management, staff and students, on this occasion of the first matriculation ceremony, ceremony of your university, of the first set of students to take advantage of the great opportunities, an impressive physical and online learning facilities of global standards that MIVA has provided. I'm sure that sooner than later, you will begin to appreciate the vast opportunities at your disposal in this university. However, and I'm now talking to the matriculants now, I must warn you that university degrees are awarded based on proven character and learning. As such, please, and I say please, ensure that you give your studies all the seriousness required. You must also ensure that you abide by the rules and regulations of this university and that you are of good character and good conduct in all ramifications. And let me add that my presence here should convince you that this institution has the full backing of the federal government and that the products would enjoy and that the products will enjoy parity of esteem with other graduates of the Nigerian university system. It is now left to you to prove your metal and make a difference and differentiate your brand. And I'm sure that your institutional fame, and I'm speaking to MIVA and the students, and visibility will grow in leaps and bounds very quickly. And before I take my seat, let me draw a cue from one of our Ivy League institutions, uh, which is Stanford. I'm sure a lot of you here would have gone to Stanford uh, in the US of A. Of the 25 top universities in the world, Stanford University is one of them. On a day like this, with a game-changing opportunity, such as the one you have in your hands, the Stanford man, the Stanford woman, is actually told and is made to believe that he or she will go out there to rule the world. May this debutants, this maiden students of MIVA go out there and conquer the world. And I thank you for your kind attention and for this rare opportunity. Long live MIVA Open University. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you very much.